Big E12. What's up, Might and Magic fans? It's Pat, and I'm back for Clash of Heroes HD strategy session number two. Today we're going to take a closer look at the units in combat. Each unit has a special ability that can come in handy during those hairy fights. Take for example, the Deer from the Sylvan Faction. It has the Leaping Strike ability, which allows it to, well, you guessed it, leap over enemy walls. Check out the Vampire, whose Blood Drain ability drains health from the enemy hero and restores life to your hero. You can scope out all the abilities by checking out the unit description when recruiting or purchasing a new unit. Moving right along, there are over 50 artifacts spread throughout the game for you to find, equip, and master. Take for example the Revive Flame, an artifact that's unique to the Inferno faction. If your hero dies, your charging formations are sent immediately, and you're revived with 5 HP in the next turn. This can help you crush an opponent after death and obtain victory. The possibilities are endless. Well, almost endless. Try out multiple combinations until you find the one to decimate your opponents. Whether you're playing against friends online or the AI, make them feel the might of your magic. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? For example, you can combine the Golden Fist and the Titan Shockwave to completely destroy all enemy walls, freeing the path to attack the enemy hero. A very powerful combo indeed. This is but a taste of Clash of Heroes HD. There are a ton of other movement tactics like the Link, Chain Infusion, and Superpower Attacks. 